Okay, this video will continue with some more real life examples where we need to divide decimals and we'll have wages with overtime, a phone bill, and GPA. And uh, if something happened, how much would the GPA increase by, right? Wages and overtime. Suppose a person makes this amount in one week. If she or he is paid $9.45 an hour for the first 40 hours, and then 14.20 per hour for each additional hour, overtime hours. How many hours overtime was recorded? Okay. So she paid this amount for the first 40 hours. What do you think we should do to work this thing out? What should step one be? What could your first step be? You could, couldn't you first take the uh, 945 and multiply that by 40, right? And that would tell you how much they got paid in the regular amount of time, wouldn't it? So go ahead and do that. 0 times 5 is 0, 0 times 4 is 0, 0 times that is 0. Put a 0 in for a placeholder. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 and 1 is 37. 0, 0, 8, 7, 3. And where's my decimal point go? Well, we've got 1, 2 in the question. So 1, 2 in the answer. So 378.00 or 378. Interesting. So the point is, if you worked 40 hours at 9.45 per hour, you would get 378. So that would be the regular wage with no overtime. So how much money overtime? How would you calculate how much money the person got for the overtime alone? Because they got all that all together, right? This is the amount in the regular from the regular 40 hours, and this is the overtime. So how do you calculate the uh, the overtime money? Don't you go five zero five eighty subtract three seven eight right and when you're subtracting decimals remember to keep the decimal point underneath each other right so zero minus zero is zero eight minus zero is eight decimal point here this um Blah, 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 blah. No, I need a sorry. I need a one here. I need this becomes ah. What am I doing? This becomes a four. Bring a one over, and then that becomes a nine because I need a one over here, and that's fifteen. Sorry, fifteen minus eight is seven. Nine minus seven is two, and four minus three is one. Okay. So I have a hundred and twenty-seven point eight overtime hours or overtime dollars, right? Overtime dollars. And um each overtime dollar is paid at a rate of 1420 per hour so how many overtime hours do we get what are we going to do to calculate the overtime hours shouldn't we do 14.20 into 127.80 right this divided by this wouldn't that give you the uh, amount of overtime hours in other words, 14.20 times what would give this? So you go this into this, right? But you've got a decimal place in the divisor, so you must move that decimal point, sorry, over two places to the right, and also over here, right? And, okay, you get... You know what? Do I even need to go that far? No, I just need to go as far as over here, don't I? Just to the right of the two, and same here, right? So I can just get a 142 into 1278, right? So I'll go ahead and do this division. Alright, let me see. Take a guess. Well, 10 of these would be 1400, wouldn't it? About. This times 10 would be 1400. This is 1200. I'm going to guess 9. See what happens. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 
Nine fours is thirty six, and thirty six and one is thirty seven. Carry the three. Nine ones is nine. Nine times one is nine. Nine and three is twelve. And then subtract. Remainder zero. So this into this gave me nine. And what is that? What type of unit is that? Is that dollars? People? Or what? It's nine hours, isn't it? Nine hours of overtime is the answer. Yep. And of course, you know, if you wanted to check it, you could because look at uh, 14, 20 times 9 should give the overtime amount. 0, 8 carry the 1, 9, 4 is the 36, 1 is 7 carry the 3. 1, 9 is 9 and 3 is 12. See, it does. It gives 127.80. It gives the the amount of money you got from overtime, right? Let's have a look at a phone bill. Suppose a telephone company charges 38 cents for the first two minutes and then 27 cents for each additional minute. If a call costs $4.27, how many minutes did it last? How are you going to figure this guy out? See if you can see if you can get make a stab at it, you know, by all means press pause and try and do it yourself. And then check the video, right? Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna I would first look at this. This amount for the first two minutes and then that amount for each additional minute how many minutes did the call last all, call last all together okay well for the first two minutes okay let's try that how about this 0 0.38 multiplied by 2 that would be the amount of money you spent on the first two minutes wouldn't it wouldn't that be the amount of money in the first two minutes so 2 8 to 16 carry the 1 2 3 is 6 and 1 is 7 2 0 is 0 and there are two decimal places in the question so 2 in the answer so 0 0.76 was spent in the first two minutes so how much money was spent on the rest of the minutes so this is the uh, first first two minutes and now we're going to look at the additional minutes and to get that we need the additional amount so we take the total amount don't we and we subtract what 76 cents right so 7 minus 6 is 1 um, this turns into a 3, carry the 1. 12 minus 7 is 5. 3 minus 0 is 3. So $3.51 was spent on the additional minutes, right? Because look, 2 minutes at 38 cents. That's 76 cents for the first 2 minutes. And then we spend $3.51 on the additional minutes. And um, the additional minutes cost. 27 cents each and three dollars fifty one was spent on it so how many minutes were there in other words 27 you've got to go 27 times what how many minutes gives us three dollars fifty one right in other words if I do a division what sort of a division could I do I could go 0 0.27 into 351 can I and that would give me the answer right but I would have to move the decimal point two spaces to the right. So 27 into 3, 5, 1, right? <coughs> so 27 into th 35 goes one time. 127 is 27, then subtract. And I get 8. Bring this one down. 27 into that. 
I'm going to guess three times. Three sevens is twenty-one. Put down the one and carry the two. Three twos is six and two is eight. Subtract, remainder zero. Okay, so how many additional minutes I went 0.27 times 13 apparently gives three dollars and fifty one cents right because 13 is the answer to the to, to this division 13 minutes okay so we've got first two minutes and then 13 additional minutes so that's 15 minutes total how'd you get that two first two minutes two plus plus the thirteen additional minutes gives fifteen minutes total doesn't it so they might ask you for the total minutes if they ask you for the additional minutes the answer would be thirteen if they ask you for the total minutes the answer would be fifteen right because you'd add the two right? okay we're going to look at GPA now and uh, here's how GPA works. Um, you've got a class, let's say math, it's a five credit class. If you get a B in it, um, if you get a B, you're going to get three points per credit. And it's 15 credits. Remember, a B is, um, a B is worth three. A C, by the way, is worth two, and an A is worth how much? An A is worth four. Okay. So um, the grade points you get from the five credit math class at a B is five times three fifteen. Okay. The grade points you get from the English class, which is three credits, and you got a grade of C, that's three times two, six. The grade points you get from art, it's worth four credits, and you got a grade of A, so that's four points per credit. So you go four times four, I got 16 points. So in all, you got 15 points from math, you got six points from English, and you got 16 points from art. And if you add all these up, you get your total amount of points. Okay, so add them all up, see what you get. Five and six is 11. 11 and 6 is 17, carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2, and 1 is 3. 37 points, right? How many credits? 5 and 3 is 8. 8 and um, 4 is 12. So 12 units or 12 credits, whatever you want to call it. So the grade point average, or better also known as the G, your GPA, okay, your GPA is equal to your total points over your total credits. Total points is 37, total credits is 12. How are you going to calculate that? I'm afraid we'll have to use long division, right? With decimals. So it's 12 into 37. Please press pause and do it yourself and then check the answer. Okay. Now you might need to put point zero 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 onto that at least and see how you go okay twelve into that goes three times three times twelve is thirty six subtract and we get one and this zero comes down now this is an interesting one because okay the decimal point has to go up here right but look at this twelve into ten goes how many times zero times zero times twelve is zero subtract zero and I get ten again bring this zero down I have a hundred isn't that weird 12 into a hundred goes I think it goes eight times 2 8 to 16 carry the 1 1 8 is 8 and 1 is 9 subtract 100 minus 12 is uh, 4 and bring the zero down and 12 into 40 goes um, 3 times and 3 times 12 is 36 and you can keep going okay but uh, we usually like to round the GPA to the nearest hundredth to this digit. So am I going to round up or down? Okay. 
So what I got, of course, is 3.083. And if you kept going, you would actually find that that's 333 keeps going. But we're going to round it to the nearest hundredth. So let's go to round two. 3.08, right? Because this next digit is a 3 and you round it down, right? Now, let me ask you this last question. If an A was earned in English instead of a C, how much would the GPA increase by? Okay. So what I'm going to do is imagine that instead of um, the C for English, I actually got an A. So if I got an A for English, an A is worth 4 points, right? So this guy would be 3 times 4, which would make him 12, right? So my GPA would be total points over total credits, or units, which this time it is 5 and 2 is 7, and 7 and 3 is 13, carry the 1, and that's 43 points altogether over the 8 and 4, 12, right? And so this time I divide 12 into 43, Well, the 43 goes 3 times 36, subtract 7, bring a 0 down, 12 into that goes um, 5 times, 5 times that is 60, subtract and I get 10, bring a 0 down, 12 into that goes 8 times, and I get 96, subtract and I get 4, bring that down, 0, and that goes 3 times, the decimal point goes up here, ok, so you do long division, and this, I'm just doing it really quick so you can see. But this, you know, gets to be approximately to the nearest hundredth, to the nearest hundredth, okay? To the nearest hundredth, it is approximately 3.58. Now, how much, if, I, if an A was earned in English instead of a C, how much would the in GPA increase by? Well, I got 3.08. I've forgotten A in English, my GPA would now be 3.58. 3 okay. So how much would it increase increase by? Let's see. I'm going to take my 3.58 and I'm going to subtract 3.08, right? I get 0, 0.50. 0. It would increase by 0 0.5, wouldn't it? And you might have seen that right off the bat. But it would increase by 0 0.5 if you got an A in English instead of a C, right?